Once your seahorse is drawn out and filled in with white gel, go ahead and cure that for one minute. Now I'm just going to come in and apply another layer of the white gel. And then once it's on, I will go ahead and cure that again for one minute. For my third layer, I'm going to use my gel paste and that is a thicker gel and it just builds it up faster and makes it more 3D looking. And if I have to, I will put a second layer of the gel paste on. I'll go ahead and fill that all in and cure it for one minute and I'll be back. And I think I will apply a second layer of the gel paste to bring the 3D effect up higher. I will go ahead and do the rest of that off camera and be back. Now I just come back in with my regular white 3D gel and I add details. And I will need to flash cure periodically to hold this gel into place. I am adding the detail. You may not see the detail right now, but when I paint it with the gold paint, you will definitely see the detail that will come out. Now that all the detail work is done, I'm going to come in with EMI's Textone Paint in Gold. It is a gold metallic paint. I'm going to use just a very small brush so that I can be very careful and just get the paint on the white gel. And when it dries, I just let it air dry, it'll be a very shiny metallic gold color. Once the paint is dry, all the details from the seahorse will come out and you'll be able to see them. And this is what it looks like so far just with the gold paint. I think it looks very pretty. I'm tempted to just leave it like that. And this is what I'm going for is this kind of like an enameled look. So I have to do a thin layer of orange. Let it level and I'm going to take some of it off. Maybe I'll just put it on with this brush. Here on the side, wiping off my brush so that I can, you know, get the excess out. I want it to pull down in there, but yet I don't want it to be like too much. Not too bad. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Now it's time to top coat. Use a no wipe top coat. It's a little bit time consuming, but I love work that is detailed. That is me. That's what I love. I know people would say, well, that's not something that you could do in a salon because it's not quick enough. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe so. 